with more than 90% success rate, what is so special about the Iron Dome system? How does this work? Let's see in this video. The Iron Dome system is an all-weather air defense system developed by Rafael Advanced Defense Systems and IAI. This air defense system is designed to counter short-range rockets, 155mm artillery shells, and drones at a maximum range of 70 kilometers. What's impressive is that it can block many targets simultaneously with more than 90% success rate. But how does it do this? That's because of its three components such as Radar System ELM-2084 It is a 3D Active Electronically Scan Array or ASA radar which is a very advanced type of radar nowadays. It can rotate 360 degrees to effectively track targets. It can detect 1,100 ballistic and aircraft targets simultaneously even at a maximum range of 470 kilometers. It can also trace back the source of the enemy's rockets or artillery fire to know where it came from. It can find out where such rockets or artillery fire will fall to know if it will fall on populated areas or not. Not only that, the radar is also used to guide the missile interceptors so that they can accurately intercept the moving targets. We will look at this later. The next component is the Battle Management and Weapon Control System. From the name itself, it is used to control the radar and the missile interceptor. Using radar, here at the BMC is where the possible trajectory of the enemy rockets and where it will fall is calculated. And the last component is the missile firing unit and missile interceptor. Here in this missile firing unit comes out what we call Tamir interceptor missiles. This missile has electro-optic sensors or active RF seeker, 11 kilograms of warhead, proximity fuse, and solid rocket motor. It also has steering fins to make it highly maneuverable. This missile firing unit has 20 interceptor missiles inside. This missile can reach from 4 kilometers to 70 kilometers. Each missile costs $40,000 to $100,000, and three to four missile firing units are called a battery. Now, this is how the Iron Dome system works. It all starts with detection. Its radar detects an incoming rocket within 4 to 70 kilometers from the battery, and the radar sends information about the rocket's path to the command and control center. Next is the prediction. This is the control center's calculation of the possible location of where the enemy rockets will fall, and it will check whether the enemy rockets will hit areas with many people or buildings or not. Next is assessment. When the calculation shows that many people or buildings will be hit by the enemy rockets, the Iron Dome will target them using the radar. Enemy rockets that would not hit many people or buildings will no longer be targeted so that the Tamir interceptors are not wasted. Lastly is the interception. Using the BMC, the launchers will now be ordered to fire Tamir missiles to destroy the enemy rockets. The control center will then send the target data to the missile seeker while it is in its mid-course flight so that it can accurately hit the target. The Tamir missile will now use its fuse system with a 360-degree steering laser system to detect when an enemy rocket has entered 
the lethal range of the warhead. Then the warhead will explode. It no longer needs to collide with the enemy rocket because of the proximity fuse. But because of the speed and accuracy of the Tamir, sometimes it really hits the target. But even though the success rate of the Iron Dome is 90%, it still has some limitations. When more enemy rockets arrive, of course, the Iron Dome system will be outnumbered. It also cannot handle guided missiles and larger missiles. We can see that the Iron Dome system is an effective defense system for its purpose, but it also has limitations.